Sokotoa. Sokotoa is a formula that we use for sine, cosine and tan functions on the calculator to help us find unknown angles or unknown sides in right angle triangles. So the so, S-O-H, is short for sine of x equals O divided by H, the O being opposite and H being the hypotenuse. Ka, C-A-H is short for cos of x equals A divided by H, the A being the adjacent, the H being the hypotenuse. And Toa is short for tan of x equals O over A, the O being the opposite and the A being the adjacent. So before we actually look at a couple of examples, it's very, very important to note that if we don't know the angle, we use the inverse, which is the shift minus one function. So in the first example, we have a right angle triangle where the angle is x, so we don't know the angle, so we're going to have to use this inverse function. But in the second example, we do know what the angle is. The angle is 37 degrees, whereas the x is one of the sides, so we won't use the inverse function. Okay, so how we start these questions is we label our triangle. So let's start with the triangle over here on the left. So we have angle x, that's what we're trying to find. We have a side 11 centimetres and another side 15 centimetres. So we start by labelling our triangle H, A and O. H represents the hypotenuse, A represents the adjacent and O represents the opposite. So the hypotenuse is always the longest side, so 15 centimetres is going to be labelled as H, the hypotenuse. The opposite is always opposite the angle, so this is the angle and this is the side that's opposite. So the 11 centimetres is going to get labelled as O, representing opposite. And then the other side gets labelled as A, the adjacent. So since we have O and H, we're going to go for SA. So remember SA represents sine of X equals O divided by H. So we write out our formula, sine of X equals O over H. Then we substitute into our formula, swap the O for 11 and the H for 15. Remember, we don't know the angle, so we have to use the inverse function. So we press shift in our calculator and sine, and sine to the power of minus 1 will come up. So this is the inverse function of sine, and a bracket will automatically open. We press the fraction button, we put in 11 over 15, and make sure we close the bracket and press equals. And we get 47.2 degrees, rounded off to one decimal place. In our next example... We do the same, we label our triangles, so the longest side gets labelled as H, that's 9 centimetres. The side that's opposite the angle gets labelled as O, so that's X, and the other side gets labelled as A. We're using the H and the O, so again we're going to go with SA, which is sine of X equals O over H, so we write out the formula. Then we substitute into the formula. We swap the X for 37 degrees, we swap the O for X, and we swap the H for 9 so we have sine of 37 degrees equals x over 9. To get the x on its own, we have to multiply both sides by 9. So we're going to have 9 sine of 37, close the bracket, equals, and we get 5.4 centimetres to one decimal place. Very important that we put the 9 in front of the sine, not at the end, because if we had sine 37 multiplied by 9, we would end up multiplying the 37 by 9. So that's not what we want to do. We want 9 multiplied by sine of 37. So it's very important to note that we can only use Sokotoa with right angle triangles, just like we can only use Pythagoras' theorem with right angle triangles. So now we have two more examples. So this right angle triangle has a hypotenuse of 10 and an adjacent of A. And the opposite is unknown, and it has an angle of 56 degrees. So since we're using the H and the A, we're going to go for Ka this time. And Ka is short for cos of X equals A divided by H. So we write out our formula. Cos of X equals A over H. We swap the X for 56 degrees. We swap the A for X and the H for 10. So we have cos of 56 degrees equals X divided by 10. So to get the x on its own, we're going to multiply across by 10. So we get 10 cos of 56, close the bracket, and we get 5.6 centimetres, rounded to one decimal place. So in this example, we knew what the angle was, so we did not use the inverse function. In our next example, 
we're labeling the 16 as the H, the 11 as the A, and the side that's opposite the angle we don't know. So again, we're using the A and the H, so we're going with K, which is cos of X equals A over H. We write out our formula. Next, we're going to substitute into our formula. So we sub the A for 11 and the H for 16. Since we don't know the angle, we have to use the inverse function, so we press shift, cos, and cos to the power of minus 1 will come up, and an open bracket. We press the fraction button, put 11 over 16, and close the bracket, and we'll end up with 46.6 degrees rounded to one decimal place. In our next example, we have another right angle triangle. So we're going to label the hypotenuse as H, the side that's opposite the angle as O, this is 9 centimeters, and the other side, which is 8 centimeters, gets labeled as A. Since we're using O and A, this time we have TOA. So TOA represents tan of X equals O divided by A. So we write out our formula. We sub the O for 9 and the A for 8. Since we don't know the angle, we have to use the inverse function. So we have tan to the power of minus 1. A bracket will open. We press the fraction button. We put in 9 over 8. Close the bracket. Press equals and round it off to one decimal place. We get 48.4 degrees. In our next example, we enable the hypotenuse as H. The side that's opposite the angle as O. It's 9 centimeters. And the other side as A, the adjacent. And this is labeled as X. This is what we're trying to find. So since we're using the O and the A, we're going to go with TOA again, which is tan of X equals O divided by A. So write out the formula. This time we do know the angle, it's 52 degrees. We swap the X for 52. We swap the O for 9 and the A for X. This time the X is on the bottom. So we can multiply across both sides by X. So tan 52 degrees multiplied by X gives us X tan 52 degrees and 9 over x multiplied by x, the x's will cancel, leaving us with 9 on the right of the equal sign. And then to get the x on its own, we divide by what's stuck onto it, which is tan of 52 degrees. We divide both sides by tan of 52 degrees. So we get the x on its own on the left of the equal sign, and we get 9 divided by tan of 52 on the right of the equal sign, which gives us 7.03. So alternatively, instead of going through all of this, at this point here, we could have just swapped the x and the tan of 52. So we could have just straight away said 9 divided by tan of 52. So remember, we can only use Sokotoa with right angle triangles, just like we can only use Pythagoras' theorem with right angle triangles. So remember, we use Pythagoras' theorem when trying to find an unknown side of a right angle triangle when given the other two sides. So Pythagoras' theorem can only be used with right angle triangles. And we only use Pythagoras' theorem when we're only dealing with sides. We use Sokotoa when trying to find an unknown angle of a right angle triangle when given two of the sides, or when trying to find an unknown side when given one side and one angle. So basically, only use Sokotoa when angles are involved. Pythagoras' theorem and Sokotoa can only be used with right angle triangles. There are other formulas that we'll look at in other videos for using with non-right angle triangles. And they are the sine rule and the cosine rule.